Hello everyone, my name is Bruce Vaughan, I'm from Australia. Today I'm going to show you how to format tables in Google Docs using the TableMate Google Docs add-on. The first step, if you haven't done so already, is to install the TableMate add-on. You do that from the extensions menu, and you go to add-ons and get add-ons. In the search apps box, you then type TableMate. And there it is. Select TableMate and then click Install to install. To begin formatting tables with TableMate, from any Google Doc, go to the Extensions menu, select TableMate and then Start. The TableMate option for formatting tables is the first one in the list. So we select it and click and there it is. Now to format tables, we first of all have to either select the table or part of the table or just click somewhere in the table so that TableMate knows which table we're formatting. And by the way, we can select as many tables as we like or all of the tables in your document and it will format all of them all at the same time. Today we're just going to format one table to show you how it works. So with nothing at all selected, we just click OK and it will remove any formatting from the table. So here is just a table with no grid lines, no header, no banding, no footer, and just the words. Let's pick a header. So now, click OK, and there's a table with just a header. We'll choose a different color scheme. This time we'll have a header and a footer. And so we click OK, and there it is. This time we'll have a header, footer, and banding. And we'll click a new color, the green. Make sure we've selected our table, and click OK. There it is. Now this time, we'll add grid lines. Let's have the yellow this time. Grid lines. Banding, footer, and header. And there it is. I know in this case, a footer makes no sense because it's not a total of something or any other particular purpose, but just to show you what the formatting looks like. Let's go to this green one down here, and this time we will just have the banding and nothing else. Okay. And there it is. Let's have banding with grid lines with that color. And by the way, the grid lines are always the same color as the header, whatever the header is. Next color. This time we'll just have the brown colored grid lines. We can have the grid lines with a header. Let's pick the, that green. Or we could have the red with banding and grid lines only. Which would look like that. Now, we can also make our own custom styles. It's a good idea when making custom styles to turn on all of the options so then we can get to see all of the colors. And we can modify those colors to be what we like. Now it's best to choose one of the default styles as your starting point. Let's choose this red one and simply click the plus button for a custom style and it copies whatever default style was selected. Now that you have a custom style, you could also copy that one and then you can delete the custom styles by clicking the minus key. So let's change the colors of this custom style. So instead of the red header, let's make it a green. And then click outside that box. Color one. Let's make that, say, a purple. 
like that. And color two, we will make that a blue. And this is going to be a very crazy custom style. And the footer, let's make that, say, a yellow. But just to show you that there's no boundaries as to what you can make for yourself for custom styles. So that's going to look rather crazy, but let's try. Click OK. And that's our crazy table. Now, I know that's not very, you wouldn't actually use that, it's not very good, but let's say we want a table that has just lines and nothing else. So there's no black default style. So let's start with the gray that's kind of like black and make a custom style out of that. And what we're going to do is change the header to be black. So if I click down there, that's the black, and there it is. Now no one would want a black header, because then you wouldn't see the words. So we turn the header off, but the lines will be the same color as the header. So if I turn, now I can turn off the banding as well, and the footer, and we just have the grid lines. So you can see we've made a table with just black grid lines, even though that's not part of the default styles. And so now you can see how you can make any combination of headers and bandings and footers and grid lines and so on, and also how you can customize these to suit your needs at any time. Now here's another thing. These custom styles, if you have clicked OK after you created them, they will then be saved so that if you leave TableMate and then come back in later on. From any other document, doesn't have to be from this one, you will see that those custom styles have been saved. If you create custom styles and do not click OK to use them, they will not be saved. Thank you everyone. Hope you've enjoyed an introduction to TableMate. Why don't you go to our website and download it and give it a try. Thank you.